Two big breaking news stories tonight. Snow is falling on the evening rush hour, threatening to make a mess of the drive home. And an Indianapolis man who claimed his newborn was kidnapped by strangers is now charged with that baby's murder. We start with Ebony Monet downtown to begin our team coverage of the arrest of Willie Wilson. Just moments ago, we heard from Marion County Prosecutor Terry Curry. With IMPD Police Chief Rick Height standing by his side, he laid out his case against Willie Wilson and the decision to charge him with murder for the death of his infant son. He tells us despite an exhaustive search, investigators believe that infant Delano is dead. And they actually told us that one reoccurring theme throughout this investigation were the inconsistencies in Wilson's story. You might recall. Wilson actually called police on August 27th to report that his son was kidnapped. Even before that, investigators now tell us that his phone records show that he searched for a missing baby several times and hours before he actually called 911. He told authorities he was walking near his home in an alley when he was approached by two people and that one of those people, a male, hit him with a gun and knocked him unconscious while the woman took the baby. Authorities say that the evidence never supported this story. Based upon security uh, a camera nearby uh, that showed Mr. Wilson walking down that alley just moments before the call, as well as a witness who uh, reported seeing Mr. Wilson walk down the alley at the same time. And that based upon that uh, uh, surveillance camera, as well as the witness testimony, that Mr. Wilson had no baby. Another thing that Kurt Curry mentioned today, which we heard early on, was that neighbors at that duplex reported hearing screaming coming from the couple's apartment around 3 a.m., hours before the baby was reported missing. The authorities actually reached out to the baby's mother, Tanisha Perkins, and although she denied any sort of argument coming from their apartment, she did say that Wilson was with the baby the night before and he was caring for the baby, and the baby was crying and very colic. She says she heard the baby crying around 12:48, and that was the last time she heard him crying. She said when she woke up around 8 a.m., the baby was cold. Baby Delano was cold, but she thought he was breathing, but she admits that she did not check. And then she did say that Wilson took the baby outside, which she found strange. But at this time, Perkins is not under arrest, and she is not facing charges. For more information about this developing story, you can check right here at 6 o'clock and also on the IndyChannel.com. Reporting live downtown, Ebony Monet. RTV6. Continuing our team coverage, RTV6 reporter Chance Walser is in that west side neighborhood where the baby was reported missing in August. Chance, what's going on there? And for the past couple hours, guys, police have been going into and out of Willie Wilson's house, waiting on a search warrant, they say, to search the property. As of just a few minutes ago, uh, these crime scene unit vans pulled up, so if they're not already processing this house, we expect them to be doing so very shortly. This, of course, after police came here and arrested Wilson this afternoon. Since then, several people have tried to go into the house, only to be turned away at the door by police. Among those, little Delano's grandmother and great aunt, who were just learning of the arrest. I don't know. I could never speak for Willie. I still can't speak for Willie. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is we still have our baby missing. <laughs> From the beginning, nothing's added up. I left it in God's hands. I just want to know the truth. I just want my Delano back. I just want to I just want Delano. Mm, pretty tough to watch there. A little more than an hour ago, police did escort a man out of the house in handcuffs. Police confirmed they did detain some people in the house, but as of now, no one has been charged with any crime except Willie Wilson. We'll have more at 6 o'clock. For now, we're live on the southwest side. Chance Walser, RTV6. Chance, thank you. Here's some background now. This case started late on the night of August 27th. That's when the father reported him missing and an Amber Alert was issued late that night. The next day, the family talks to RTV6 and offers a $10,000 reward for the child's safe return. Metro Police searched the family's home on September 1st, then officially suspended searches for the infant on September 3rd. They end up hitting me with the pistol. I'm knocked out. Once I come to, I see them driving off with my son. All I want is my son back. You, I gave them full description of what these people look like. All I want 
is my son. I am begging the public, please search, please search for. I can't do it. I love my son. But again today, that man, Willie Wilson, has been arrested and charged with murdering his young son.